everyone and welcome back to another Better Minecraft episode. In today's episode, we are going to be building a library that will eventually house an enchantment setup and lots of librarians. So if you're excited for that, then go ahead and grab something warm and cozy to drink and let's jump right in. Well, I was going to say that I was going to start off this episode with harvesting my fields before winter comes, but it looks like winter is already here. That is just slightly disappointing, but okay, I guess. I don't think it really matters that winter is here. I still kind of want to harvest my fields. They just won't grow until spring and that's okay. But in last episode, we built our farmhouse, of course. And the whole reason I built it is so that I could trade with farmer villagers so that I could get emeralds. Hence why I want to harvest my crop fields right now so that I can get more crops to trade with said farmer villagers. Oh, I think I just heard the wandering trader. Hello, uh, where? Where is he? I see him on the mini map, but I'm not seeing him anywhere. Is he down here? He probably is. Uh, hello, wandering trader. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hello. Brown birch sapling. That's pretty cool. A globe, a redwood sapling, and a red spruce sapling. These two saplings here are a little bit tempting, but I might pass them up for now, honestly. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and get busy harvesting all of my crop fields. <music> the field and here is our harvest. Now I want to take a lot of this stuff and trade it with our villagers. I don't really know what trades they have but we're gonna find out here together. It appears like we only have two farmers working over here in our field. I'm not really sure where our carrot farmer went. Hopefully he's okay but honestly I'm not too confident that he's still alive. But you know maybe he is. Maybe he's doing just fine. Now I want to see what these farmers in here will trade us. All right he wants carrots. That's pretty simple. And cattails? Cattail sprout. That's interesting. We'll definitely trade him some carrots for sure. And then this little farmer over here, he wants wheat uh, and some other interesting things. We can definitely do the wheat though. So I'll just do a little bit of trading with this little farmer. And then I also want to breed them up just a little bit. We got 36 emeralds from them and we could get so much more if we decided to zombie purify them. But right now I just don't really want to honestly. But I will go ahead and give you some potatoes. Potatoes for all of the little villagers. And some more potatoes. Take all of the potatoes and make babies. Okay, I'm pretty sure he took literally all of them. But he'll share them, right? Okay, this is more than enough potatoes. You really don't need that many. But if you make a baby, then I honestly don't care. You can take all the potatoes in the world if you make me little babies. I don't think beds should be an issue. So we'll check up on them here in a bit and see if any babies have been made. Uh, excuse me, you're in the way. Okay, thank you. What about these villagers? I can trade with these as well. Okay, he wants carrots and peanuts. And then this little villager wants carrots and beetroot. And look at him ruining this field. There's wheat and carrots and beetroot. He's definitely done a number on it, but I'll just let him. Oh, here's the farmer. He came, hello, we missed you. Charlie, we love Charlie. He wants potatoes. We love Charlie even more because we love potatoes as well. Charlie, I'm trying to trade with you. Stop running away. Charlie, please. Now we have over a stack of emeralds. I will take it. What I'm going to do first with these emeralds is trade with librarian villagers so that I can get lots of bookshelves. That's how I plan on getting all the bookshelves that I'm going to need for an enchantment setup and, you know, bookshelves for decorations and stuff. That way I don't have to kill any cows or horses or anything like that. Nor do I have to worry about sugarcane. It'll be super easy like this. Now I'll just drop off all of our crops and our profits. And now I want to start getting together some of the materials that we're going to need for this library. I am going to be building with a new kind of wood and it's going to be the 
ancient oak log or whatever it's called. I'm not really sure what it's called, honestly. And I think that we'll have to journey over there to get that kind of wood because I don't think I have any saplings of it. So let's go ahead and grab another ax, take a quick nap and find where our horse went off to. Hello. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. And we'll ride our horse over to the dark oak forest way over this way, over the garden wall. You know, whenever I get advancements like this, uh, going close to structures, it kind of scares me, honestly. We should probably check out that structure at some point because I've been avoiding it for quite a long time, but I will avoid it for just a little while longer. Oh my goodness, I cannot figure out how to get through this forest. <sighs> we'll get there eventually. Oh my goodness. All right, there we are. And that is the wood type that I'm going to be using. That really dark wood over there. Oh, I'm so sorry. We also need a name for this little horse. So if you all want to leave a couple of name suggestions down below, I will choose one and we can name our little horse friend. Yes, perfect. This ancient oak log. That is exactly what I want. If we can chop it down. Oh, there we go. Are we going to get any saplings from it? Tall, bark, and handsome. Oh, that's cool. We got one sapling. It seems like the saplings are going to be pretty rare for this. So honestly, it might be just the best idea to look for ancient oak trees here instead of growing them back at our base. I mean, we already have over a stack and a half, so that's pretty good. And here is another one right here. Uh, Well, every single ax I brought broke. So, you know, that's great. I feel like the tree probably will need four saplings to grow, not just one. So sadly, two saplings will not cut it. Why didn't I bring more axes? I mean, I guess I thought that I was going to be able to use the saplings. To be fair, I guess I need to head back home and bring a ton of axes and then head back over here. I cannot wait until we have better tools. This is just not cutting it. Our pink sheep. Hello, pink sheep. I love you. You're so cute. Back home to craft several axes. And now back on over to the dark oak forest to finish collecting these ancient oak logs. Oh, there's a butterfly. I wonder how I can capture the butterflies because I think it'd be so cool to like add them to our greenhouse or something like that. Or do you know that butterfly room in Animal Crossing in the museum and there's butterflies everywhere and there's that fountain? That would be so pretty to recreate. Oh, oh my gosh. I don't know why that scared me so bad. He had no business scaring me that bad. I need to chill out. Oh my goodness. This tree is giant. Look at it. Wow, that is a really big tree. It's probably going to take me a second to chop down. Wow, you can make like an entire tree house up here almost. Oh, and now it's snowing. I love the snow, but I hate what the snow does to my frame rate. It's just a little bit bad, you know, just a little. Oh, okay. Well, the tree is done being chopped down, I guess. And I think I should probably sleep. <gasps> oh my gosh. Why are there mobs? Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not ready for this. Okay, leave me alone. There are so many mobs over there. Please let me run away. I just need a little baked potato break and then I can find some mobs, okay? But not right now. <gasps> ah! Creeper, leave me alone, please. Oh, just stuck in the in the leaves. It's fine. Goodness gracious. How much do I have to go through to just collect a little bit of wood? I think that I'll just plant some dark oak saplings and spruce saplings back at the village and collect those there instead of going to a forest to collect it. I obviously couldn't really do that with the ancient oak log though, but I do believe this should be more than enough. Now we just have to find our little horse and I believe he should be right over this way. Hello, little horse. Now back to our base. Home sweet home. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me put you safely back in the pen. Look, he's running away from me. I'm so sorry. Now it's time to collect the rest of the materials that I'm going to need for our library. I want to build with a little bit of green concrete powder, or rather, I guess, green concrete. Honestly, I feel like half a stack is going to be more than enough, but we're gonna be safe and grab an entire stack. I'm also going to want some of this 
framed quartz glass. So if you place quartz in a furnace, it'll turn into quartz glass. And then if you combine it with some of this sincinicide, I feel like that's how you say it. I have practiced, hopefully I've gotten a little bit better at saying that. But if we combine it with that, then we'll get this framed quartz glass. And I want to build a lot with this. So how much of it can we make? Almost a stack and a half. I honestly have no idea if that's going to be enough. And I really don't want to have to go get more because if I go get more, that means I have to go to the nether and I really don't want to go to the nether. So I'm actually going to go ahead and count every single piece of framed quartz glass that I'm going to need to use. The verdict is in, it's not going to be enough which i am incredibly upset about but you know you gotta do what you gotta do incredibly upset might be a little bit dramatic but let's just say i'm not thrilled about the idea of going to the nether well let's go ahead and head on over to the nether for only the second time believe it or not i'm only going to go into nether to look for this sincinicide and then some nether quartz so i don't really want to go too far away from my portal if I can help it. There is some sincinicide right over that way. Probably should have brought some building blocks. Oh no, that looks like instant death. Is there a safer way to collect some sincinicide? I'm definitely seeing plenty of quartz. Ooh, what is this thing over here? Oh, just like a little nether well. That's cute. Oh, there's some right there. Perfect. I'm just using leaves as building blocks and I have fortune three. So hopefully we should get plenty from this. 13. Okay, that's not bad. We just need to find a couple more chunks. found this nether ruby ore, which sounds really cool. I wonder if we can make cool things with it. I would assume that we probably could. Ooh, it looks like we can make armor and tools. Ooh, auto smelt ores. That's so cool. Oh, I think it's better than diamond. Armor plus three and armor toughness 2.4. Yeah, it seems like it's better. I don't know what the durability is like though, but that's really cool. If you all know anything about nether ruby, definitely let me know. Well, I do have 39 pieces of Cincinnati and then about a stack and a half of nether quartz. So we're just going to hope and pray that that is enough. And if it's not, then I'll probably just replace the framed glass with regular glass until I get enough of the framed glass. I just literally hate the nether so much. I don't have any part of me that likes it. I'm just collecting a few more things that I'm going to need for our library. And I'm actually going to build with gold accents. So I know you can make these gold lanterns. Why can't I build it? Oh, you need gold nuggets, silly me. They're pretty much just like the regular lanterns, but they're gold. And I think that we can also make a gold door. Yes, we can. I think it'll go perfect with this framed quartz glass. We now have a little over two and a half stacks of the framed quartz glass. So hopefully that should be enough. And with this, I think that we have everything that we're going to need for this build, which is very exciting. And I want to place the library on top of this hill here. I'm going to have to do a little bit of terraforming in order to get it a little bit more flat. But let me go ahead and just paint you a picture of what I'm thinking for this build. We'll just lay down a wee little block palette. I'm going for a kind of dark academia style in a way. I really want to play with a lot of darker tones and greens and then the golds. I think it's going to look so cool together. I will of course be using these flowers too because I just think they add a nice touch. But without further ado, let's go ahead and get this library in. the exterior of the library complete. I did end up having to go back to the nether to get more sincinicide so that I could complete the roof and everything. So all of the glass is in as the framed quartz glass, but I'm just so happy with how this turned out. I really like the colors that I went for. I think it's very different than anything I've ever built. And here on the inside, of course, I haven't done 
anything yet, but it does feel pretty big on the inside, which is pretty cool. Of course, I have to get rid of the dirt blocks and actually do the interior, which we'll work on here in just a second. But first, someone wants me to go up to the hot air balloon that's right over this way and check it out. I'm a little bit concerned that there's going to be literally nothing up there, but you know, we won't know until we find out. All right, I guess I'm going to go ahead and tower up. Hopefully I have enough dirt with me. I think I do, it should be just fine. Here we are, there is stuff up here. Let's see, okay, we have an enchanted bow protection three and sharpness three, that's pretty good. I will go ahead and take all of that, some coal and apples, and then nothing here in this barrel. This is really cool. Thank you for making me come up here because I really had no reason to come up here, uh, so I'm glad I did. It is pretty cool up here, honestly. I'm gonna turn out the render distance just a little bit so we can see our library from up here. And there she is, look how cute. I do fear that I'm making everything in this village very different. Hopefully whenever I finish everything, it will kind of tie in all together, but we have like this gold and green and purple and red and pink and just a lot of different colors going on. So hopefully that won't be a problem. Now, for the floor of this library, I would like to make it kind of a checkerboard pattern. So I'll use some polished deep slate and then I think also some polished diorite. Of course, first things first, I should probably dig out all of this dirt. And then we'll just go through and make it kind of a checkerboard pattern. I've really got lots of inspiration from some really pretty libraries that I found online. I'll post this one in particular that I really, really liked. And it has kind of a fun floor to it. So I figured I would kind of copy that over here too. Also, I just got done reading Shadow and Bone not that long ago. I know I'm really late to the game, but the library has a domed glass roof and I kind of wanted to recreate that here too. So lots of inspiration went into building this library. And just like that, the floor is finished. Definitely a very fun, eye-catching design. I also would like to get a spiral staircase in here. I think that would look really cool. And then I don't want to separate the two levels completely. I do want it to be more of a like balcony situation. So maybe we should get some dark oak in here and we can build a little staircase out of dark oak maybe, maybe, maybe. I think I want it kind of towards the back. So maybe we'll do a little bit of this stripped ancient oak log. I am definitely not very good at building spiral staircases, but we'll figure it out. Do we do it with stairs or with slabs? I don't know. Okay, I think we'll use slabs instead. And like I was saying, I want this to be more of a balcony of sorts. So I definitely wanna keep the middle of it open. Also, this won't work. This is incorrect. Okay, kind of. Maybe we can put some trapdoors on the outside to kind of create a barrier. It would save a little bit more space than using fences. And then I would love to get some permanent librarians in here. I don't know how that's exactly going to work, but we'll just figure it out. First things first, I would like to get some trap doors going on in that second section. I wonder if we can make gold trap doors. I would assume we could. Is that too much? It might be too much, but I kind of want to try it. We do have gold accents everywhere, so I'd like to kind of keep on playing with that idea on the inside. I wouldn't really say that I like gold too much. However, it's kind of working in this build. Can I flip them by myself? Yes. I was wondering if I needed redstone to do it, but it doesn't look like it. Also, I rarely go down my pathway anymore. I kind of just like fall down the mountain. It's a little bit faster. So we'll put the trap doors on the outside like this. Oh, we have icicles inside. <laughs> Love that. Ooh, the corners are a bit of a problem though. How do we get around that? I'm not sure. Maybe we just do it like this. Is this too much gold? Old. What do we think? Honestly, I think the Cincinnosite would look a little bit better because it's more of a warmer gold and this is so yellow. Like, is that too yellow? I kind of hate it. It kind of hurts my eyes, honestly. I don't think it's gonna work, though I do wanna use those trapdoors somewhere because I do think it would be just like a nice little touch, a nice little gold accent. But for here, I don't think so. Maybe we'll just use spruce trapdoors. It doesn't quite fit the vibe. However, I don't really like the ancient oak trapdoors and then we already have too much dark oak going on, but I kind of hate it. 
I kind of hate it. This is my next option. I just really don't want to place something here because then it makes it so small, you know? And we already don't have a lot of space up here. So I kind of want something on the outside, but I hate it too. It doesn't look good. I honestly don't know. I might just leave it for now because I just can't think of anything. Anyways, we need to start working on getting some librarians in here. So maybe I will make a couple lecterns and trade with some librarians. So I'll go ahead and start that process because again, we are going to get our bookshelves from the librarians. We already have one librarian apparently. I'm not sure where his lectern is. Oh, he's our fortune three librarian. Okay. I don't think he has a lectern actually. Remember when we gave these villagers our potatoes? Do we have a baby? Maybe I need to get some more beds in here. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Why are you stuck in the fence? How is this happening? Oh. What do I even do? I don't want to hit them by accident. Oh my gosh, how do they get stuck in the fence? Maybe it's because it's a modded fence. <laughs> well, that's so unfortunate. And then this little guy, it's going to be okay. I promise it's going to be fine. See, he was okay. I'm just beginning to run out of villagers. I really don't have that many. See, these little farmer dudes are supposed to be sharing the love, but they're not really doing that. Oh, they're making a baby. Oh, yay. We have a baby. Good thing too, because we are really running out of villagers. I have two librarians in tow. I'm so excited. I don't really know where they came from, if I'm being completely honest, but I'm not asking questions. Yay, they're in here now. We will trap them in. And we also need a trade that will give us bookshelves. So I will roll their trades over a couple of times and then hopefully we can get a bookshelf trade. I don't think it should be too difficult. Yep, there's one right there. Nine emeralds. Is that a lot? I don't know, honestly. What is reindeer sky? That's crazy. Nine emeralds. Okay, maybe that's kind of like the staple. Nine emeralds. Oh my gosh. Our 50 emeralds give us five bookshelves. This is going to take just a little bit to fill up the space. You know, just a little bit. I would also like to get an enchantment set up in here. So I do have an option of just completely covering this up which isn't ideal. However, it would allow the bottom section to be more of the library and the top section to be the enchantment setup. So let me know what you think about that idea. I think I might just leave this upstairs like this for now and then do something with it later. And then I also think I want to breed up these guys just within this little place. I will bring some beds in here too, just because it's hard to breed villagers whenever they're just running literally all over the place. So like this, it'll be so much easier. So if I could just get by really quickly, if you could not escape, that'd be lovely. Thank you. And I'll just go up to our little wool farm and get some wool and we'll make some beds to put in there. And we'll just treat it like a little mini villager breeder, kind of like we did with our farmhouse. Hello, sheepies. I haven't seen you in quite a while. Have you been working hard? Yes, you have. Oh my goodness, that is so much wool. I feel like yellow would probably go pretty well with our library and also green. Should I do green? Maybe we should do green. I was thinking yellow because of the gold accents, but we don't really have that much green going on. So I'm going to go with green, even though that I'm not going to leave these beds in the library forever. They're just going to be temporary. Also, zombie cure find these villagers would be the best way to get bookshelves for cheap. However, we need splash potions of weakness, and that's just something that we don't have. Also, oh, they're already making babies. Okay, they're angry. Is it because you don't have a bed? Don't worry, I will get you a bed. Don't you worry, you little villagers. I will give you more beds than you could ever ask for. You'll be making all of the babies. They're going to be so happy in here. Look how cozy it is. Uh, maybe I should get some lights. Maybe, just maybe. I am a little bit concerned about the spiral staircase too because like they could fall off so easily. Be careful. Be so careful. Oh my goodness. I don't like this at all. Look at him up there. Oh, but he's doing so good. He's so good. So in between episodes, I'm definitely going to work on trading with villagers and also trading with our farmers so that we can get emeralds to trade with the librarians. And I want to fill up this entire downstairs area with bookshelves, but it's going to take time to do that. So in between episodes, I will definitely get to work doing all of those things. In next episode, I think I'm going to put two builds in. I want to put a build here and then also one here. And I want to start getting some pathways in and actually like getting this village together because I feel like it's very 
very build, 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 build. And then another one over there, another build. But I need to start connecting them together and making more of a story. But I think I'm going to go ahead and wrap this episode up here. I hope that you have enjoyed it and I hope that you are excited for the next episode to build two more builds. I'm not quite sure what I want to build yet. They're just going to be cute little builds, nothing too crazy like the tavern. The tavern, I definitely want it to be very big. It's going to be more like the flower shop, I think. Feel free to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely day. And thank you so much for watching. Bye.